Hey guys, we are on our way to the doctor's appointment. At Valley, she is now 29 weeks pregnant. Lock the door. Give me the Here. keys. Someone lock the door. I'm just showing my belly. I think that's really big. You can see it. You see? Yeah. Here. We can feel the baby move a lot. Actually, this morning she woke me up and she's like, feel this. I don't know if the baby was having hiccups or what, but it was like a really, uh, really steady kick. And we just kept feeling it move time and time again. It was really cool. So she's uh, 29 weeks. This is her third trimester. And talking about the the gestational diabetes part of the reason we gotta go to the doctor yeah i have this gestational diabetes where's the car coming oh i have to put my seatbelt on first oh no that's fine safety first kids buckle up Yeah, I have to poke my fingers four times a day to get some blood. Check my blood sugar, but she's doing good. She had a get a shot uh, vaccination a couple of days ago, so she hurt her arm. Hopefully, not too many more of those shots. Especially, uh, not too many blood drawing. I always miss her and. They have to dig around for a vein and stuff. Oh, look at the pretty lake. So we got back-to-back -back doctor's appointments. We're going this morning, and we gotta go again tomorrow morning. And uh, luckily, one of my coworkers is kind of working with me and uh, because they needed somebody for overtime and he's picking up the overtime while I'm going to doctor's appointments. Um, and then I'm just doing overtime on days where I don't have doctor's appointments. So it's nice to have somebody who's kind of working with you like that. Wee! Here awesome. we go. Yes, yeah, a nice day. It was really stormy looking yesterday. Actually, going outside yesterday, um, very first thing, it thundered. And it was thundering for like literally a minute straight. It was, it was one of the longest thunders I've heard. But it's a nicer day today. So what's it like going to work pregnant, baby? Hard. It's getting harder? Yeah. Your okay. back's hurting? Not as much, but it's not as bad. But it's starting to hurt like before, like when I was in second trimester, it's not hurting as bad. Because your belly's really starting to get big now. Yeah. And what's crazy is here in the third trimester in the last 10 weeks, uh, she's gonna like double in size. So yeah. as, as big as your belly is. She's only the size of a butternut squash and she's gonna get bigger like a watermelon. Already looks like a watermelon. Oh my gosh. I think she's a big baby. I hope they ultrasound me though. Our last ultrasound was really cool. If if you missed it, uh, I'll put a, a link to that video in the description. It was really cool. It was a 3D ultrasound. And so we could see we could see she's got really chubby cheeks. Got Nicey's nose. <laughs> that guy looks like he's about seven months pregnant. Too. <laughs> Just kidding. So, are you excited about the first baby? Yeah. You want to say what we did on Sunday? 
No. <laughs> you said it. You said it. We, uh, we worked on the nursery. We uh, built the crib together. And, uh, and I had to rearrange a lot of the furniture in there. So we're getting the baby's room together. It's, uh, it's really cool. So you go in there. We got the bassinet. We got the crib. We got like a stroller and, and a car seat and stuff like that. So we just got like baby stuff all over the place now. So it's really starting to feel real because, you know, time's getting close. We're about to have this thing. I'm super excited about having a baby. Well, you should take care of her more often. Huh? You should take care of her when she comes out. Why you got a mask on already? Because! So I don't have to put it on. It's, it's called uh, being safe. Being safe? From you. <laughs> From me that you live with? In the car you're in every day anyways? Yeah, that's why I'm wearing a mask. You go to work, I go to work. We should all wear a mask. Yeah, we're gonna have to wear a mask to the doctor's appointment. We have to wear a mask and work. We are getting close. It's early. So, so we work second shift, we both do. And then when you get home, you stay up for a little while because, you know, right off the work, you're not too sleepy. And uh, we always make the doctor's appointments pretty early in the morning so that we can still go to work later with plenty of time. It makes uh, for getting up really early, at least for us. Look at the McDonald's charger. <laughs> it's long. long. Yeah, that'll take forever. Do we have to tell the doc? We have to tell the doctor that we have fit pediatrician now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or should I tell the receptionist? I think tell the doctor. The doctor. Last time we saw her, she wanted us to uh, pre-register with the hospital, get a pediatrician, which is a baby doctor, and. Um, and so we got, got that stuff done. Uh, a lot of getting stuff ready and uh, vaccination that she just got on Sunday. I'm going to ask her if you need vaccination too. Nicey just wants me to get a shot since so she's having to get some. <laughs> You're just scared. We're here. It's not that far. It's like six, five minutes. Six minutes away. It's only nine or too early. Oh yeah. Better early than late, I guess. Here. But we are early. Okay guys, so thanks for coming along to the doctor's office with us. And we will see you later. Bye. Say bye Amelia. She says bye, you just can't hear it.